Hello everybody, JT Bear here today. I'm just uh, out here doing a little work in my greenhouse. I'm uh, rearranging a few things and making some changes to get ready for winter and to get ready for that IBC tote that we're going to be adding to the aquaponics system soon enough. But I thought I'd show you kind of what I'm doing to my first garden here because, well, this is kind of the last huzzah for that one. So let's get started. Those of you who have been watching my channel for well, the last couple years. I've seen this bed throughout most of that, but I'm finally gonna retire it because it's just too shallow. I've had too many root problems in it, and I can make better use of that black rubber liner in other places. So, I'm gonna put strawberries back into a more primitive aquaponics setup. You can uh, see one of my older videos on where I had the strawberries before. They're going to go back to something very similar to that, but I'll show you when the time comes. Tragically, I've got to take these pepper plants out. Look how well that one's doing now. That's just great. But at the same time, it's tragic because now it's the 1st of October. It's fall here. This is not going to make it. I do wish I had somewhere in the house I could winter this plant. But I don't trust the floors in our old house to to hold up the weight of an indoor aquaponics system. So, try again next year. This guy's gonna have to go. And this pepper the same, it's still trying. Getting warm enough in here that it's trying to produce flowers and trying to produce fruit. But at the same time, its leaves are falling off, it's dying. It's done. Over here though, got that no power aquaponic system thing decided to put um, well a lot more energy into to just how to get the most out of a pumpless aquaponic garden and just seeing what I can get away with so stick around in the next few weeks and months as I uh, expand that garden still gonna be using this as a main fish tank I think still gonna be using that as my sump tank and overflow tank I think, but this garden bed is history. So when it's all said and done, this whole back wall is gonna look completely different. Should be exciting. I'm gonna to have to move my little workstation here because that's where the IBC tote is gonna be going. But it just seems like a better idea to have 250 gallons of water rather than a cluttered table. But when that gets in, I think this barrel is going to be converted to a solids filter. Seems to me it's uh, pretty ideal for a start on a few different ways to uh, filter my water, so that'll be good. I'm going to keep this ice fishing sled up and running. Plus I might just convert the other ice fishing sled, so there's two of them. But for now, I'm going to be taking all the clay pellets from this bed here, where they're no longer really going to be needed. And I'm going to finally top up this bed here because I've been cheap and I haven't bothered to go out and get any more of them. So that'll be nice to finally see this uh, topped up. That poor tomato plant's got to go. I find it so hard, you know, at the end of the summer to get rid of these plants that are still trying to produce but not going to make it through the next weeks and months. A cat mint, on the other hand, that'll be just fine this winter. That sage is going to look great. I always look forward to the winter with this tricolored sage because it really brings out the purples and the reds that are in the leaves. Right now it just kind of looks like sage, but check back in a couple months. Tricolor sage it will be. I'm going to move one of the strawberry runners over to here just so I'm sure something will live. But I'd give it 98% chance that the strawberry is going into the no power aquaponics. It'll do just fine. Got really bright in here all of a sudden. As far as winter prep goes, I'm going to be doing uh, a few basic things to insulate the pipes. I think you can see last year what I did there. It's basically the same thing I'm going to do this year. And uh, once the IBC tote is in, I've got a few different ideas for how I'm going to insulate that as well. As far as the floor goes, that uh, newspaper thing didn't really work out for me last year, so I'm not going there again. But I am, however, considering 
putting down wood chips because I've got a lot of uh, stuff I've got to chip up anyway. So let me know if you think that's a good idea, bad idea. If you've got any experience with wood chips to uh, line a greenhouse floor in the winter. Does it produce any heat? I've heard it produces a little bit. So, you know, a little bit is better than none. Anywho, I'm going uh, a little bit blind from the glare in here. So I think I'm going to call it quits and say thanks for watching, everybody. Have yourselves a fantastic day.